everyone and welcome to a new video. I just wrapped up last week's vlog. The books in my TV are quite falling. I was trying to fix it <laughs> here in this spot and I thought well I'll start the next one here as well. Standing in the vlog which is weird. I used to film my videos like this all the time before. It was the time of my life. My legs always hurt actually. Today I it's a new day. It's Monday the 7th, not 7th, the 6th of May. I just had this whole thing where I forgot that the last vlog also covered the end of April and I had completely forgotten, which is, I don't know, really funny to me. I'm in the middle of a couple of books for my buddy reads. So if you watched last week's vlog, you already know this. I am in the middle of sort of Cayenne, which we are better reading in my Patreon Discord. I'm reading Wicked As You Wish on audio, which I'm hopeful to finish this week. I thought I would finish it last week, but that didn't happen. I'm reading God Killer with my friend Justine. We just started this yesterday. And then I'm reading City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett, which I'm hoping to finish this week, honestly. I've been reading it for ages. I will let you know like updates on these, I think like when I finish them or when I have them, sort of Cayenne. I'm not gonna finish until the 31st of May because we're reading one chapter a day. So the updates on that will be spontaneous, but just so you know that I'm reading all of these. Then I'm obviously also gonna read something for Asian Readathon, which is why not necessarily why, but like the theme for these weekly vlogs. I don't know 100% what I'm reading today because I am in the middle of my exams. So I'm writing my paper, which in theory doesn't have a deadline until next week. But I put a deadline on myself where I want to be finished on Sunday. Like finished as much as I can. Obviously I can still have leftover stuff to do like the next week but I want to finish on Sunday so I'm going to be focusing a lot on writing that this week. I did manage to get to my goal last week which was honestly a surprise in itself for both me and everyone else so I am very happy about that so that will be my main focus. I'm not reading as much as usual even though I basically still did read like one book a day last week still. I am like if I use two days on a book no one is gonna die. It's chill. It's fine, you know? So we're just gonna see how it goes for this week. And like, if I only read my body rate pages for one day and not like anything else, that is also okay. As long as I read every day. I just need to focus on this exam. And suddenly it was very hot in here. Oh, I don't know why. I'm gonna open a window. I actually have two packages for you today that I just got. So I thought I would open them now for you. This one is from SciFire. And if you don't know, Sci-Fire and Books Plea, which is like sister companies, I have a 5% discount code called Sandra5 on both the pages. You get a 5% off. I get a small commission for everything you buy, which doesn't cost you extra, but supports me a lot. So I would be very happy if you want to buy some books, you can buy them there and get a discount and support me because obviously that's what you want to do. I'm joking halfway. But I got this there and it is, oh my God, it is packaged in the package. Never experienced that before. Love that. The extra protection. This is actually my first order from the site. Oh, okay. I'm just throwing it in front of the floor. I didn't know we got cute bookmarks. Oh my god, I love them. I didn't even care about the book. Look at the bookmarks. They are so cute. Can you can you focus? <gasps> So if you order from the site, you get bookmarks. We love to see that. I didn't know, but they are really, really cute. I love them. But I also got my Solo Exchange Diary 2. So I just got in my haul, which is should be up before this vlog. I just got the whole rest of the series. I have the first one here actually. And I read that a few years ago and never continued. Now I have all, officially all with this one. And I plan to read them all in June for Pride. So excited to read the rest. Then my other package was, as you maybe saw and did not see, I don't know, was Fairy Loot. And I think this is just a monthly book. It might also be a special edition. I honestly, ow! I just stab myself with these scissors. I'm sorry for that noise. It hurt. It's just like paper scissors, so it's fine, but it hurt. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Is it a special edition? No, it is actually the, I have to double check. April book, April book. I already know what book it is because I always need to check to see if I want to skip or not. So let's see. Can I get it out? Ooh, so fancy. I'm just throwing everything on the floor. First of all, we have really cool art. Look at it, love it. That's gonna go on my art wall. And then we have A Vocation by S.G. Gibson, which is the same author as A Diary of Blood, one of my favorite books. And it says only world can rewrite blood. I'm pretty sure this has also to do with vampires. Is this in the same world? Or is that the other book by the author? I don't remember, but look at it. It's gorgeous. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a pretty book. Love the look for it. And also, obviously, I couldn't skip a ST Gibson book because I know I'm going to read all the books by the author since I love the Dark of Blood. Can I wanted to hide so you can see the spread that just. Oh my god. I'm very, very excited for this. I don't know when I will get to it, but hopefully, like, soon ish. Ooh. This was a fascist mansion book. Really love the look. Obviously, you cannot skip this. I feel like I'm waiting for a special edition of another thing by the author. It was the other one I came out earlier. I had like this flashback that I bought another special edition. <laughs> now I feel like I need to check. Yes, an education and malice. I bought a special edition from Fairy Loot, but I have not gotten it yet, which is fine. Like I assume it will just come when it comes. I just like was thinking for a moment if I already gotten it or not. I was really unsure, <laughs> but I have not. I'm happy I got this one. Now I need to go and write my paper, which I said will be my focus, even though I also do have a couple of library loans, which is expiring. So I need to read that on top of my Asian readathon reading. Even though like my plan was to always read a bit in an Asian readathon book and then like in my other reads as well. But last week I did fail that for a day because I was like, no, I actually need to finish this library because I don't have any time. All goals don't always go according to plan, but that is fine. No, I need to go and my paper and I'm gonna let you know how reading goes. Yay. I swear I don't on purpose sit here for every single clip of this, these vlogs in general. It's just where I always sit and then the light is okay because there's a window behind you. Either way, yesterday I did end up starting All This Just to Glory and not I Want to Die, but I Want to Eat at the Bucky because I was doing Final Book Support Group Sprints and then I was like, well, this is the only actual sequel on my TBR. It's kind of the final book because there's no more books out after this one, but there is more books coming, I think. And this one first book in the series follows our main character. Elisa. I don't really know how to say her name. She is a djinn and has been in hiding for a long time because the djinn in her kingdom are prosecuted because the king had this vision where he um, was going to be brought down by a djinn. And then she has a secretive past, there may be some power, and then other things happen that you don't expect at all. So the first book works fun, fine, setting up this story. And now the second book was like, only conversation, nothing happened, only vibes, great. And so far we have a lot of, not necessarily like action in a way, it's action scenes, but like this super dramatic thing has happened that I didn't expect happen in this way at all. And I'm already halfway because I read 200 pages yesterday because I realized that I cannot read a single, every, a whole book every day when I need to walk with my paper so much that I do. And I was like, why is this happening right now? But it's kind of in a way that this one advent has taken half the book. So I'm wondering how like it would evolve, but I love it. Like I'm so trash with this. I love the characters. I love how it's written. But it literally feels like we're watching one episode of a TV show instead of like a full installment in a book series. I would say the first book is like one season and then book two and three, it so far has felt like one episode each. It's super weird. Very walkable for some reason. I want to finish this today but then I'm going to work and I'm like do I want to bring this to work but then I'm a bit like who cares because like I don't love sitting with a special edition at work because like I sometimes need to fling the book around and yeah I am still reading my three butter reads I'm starting another butter read today later but I will show you then and now I need to work with my paper and actually try to edit this vlog for last week because I want it up to date because it's Tuesday and I always like to post my vlog on Tuesdays if I do weekly vlogs. Weekly vlogs compared to theme vlogs which I'm doing at the same time as well. Oh life! Okay but I actually did a lot of progress on my paper yesterday so very good work and then we will continue surviving and continue doing what we need to do. Yay! Okay so I was at work today but I did finish the book or Desperate Glory as I was called and it was like it was just, I don't know how to describe this series because all this twisted glory, because it's just like vibes are immaculate, honestly. And the way that the series started out was like a typical wife had to see, which was like not necessarily unique, but then, then just the way it's written, the way it's whole, as I said, it feels like episodes. I'm so invested in these people and these characters. I want the next book now. I just don't understand how it works. I don't understand why it's so enjoyable. It's so addicting. The characters, one of the characters turned out to be the biggest simp in the world. 
I'm all for it. I give it a strong four out of five stars. I honestly feel like I can make a whole video where I'm questioning why the book works so well. I honestly don't know. I also started another book, but decided to do that in another vlog. It's not even for Asian Wheel of Fun and anything. Not that it needs to be to be in this vlog, because I did also start The Hunting of Hill House, which obviously has nothing to do with Asian Wheel of Fun. But this is another bloody read I'm starting with my friend Ingrid. So now I have four. So I'm reading different amount of pages in four different books every day. <laughs> Plus my own read. So that's five books a day. That's insane, but it's fine. But yeah, and then I also started another book today. So that's like six different books I read today, which I want to finish in bed after. But I think we're going to watch a movie now. So we should see if I, how like it is and if I bother reading it. But I read like 60 pages in like 15 minutes or something. So it was a very easy read. So I'm hoping to maybe finish that somehow in bed. I started another vlog for that because different theme vlogs is fun. But yeah, Hunting of Hill House is fun to read because the show is one of my favorite shows. And I just keep, I will keep comparing it to the show the whole way. But we just see how it holds up because obviously it's already very different. Like the main character is literally different characters. It's not even about a family or anything like that. Even though it is about a haunted house. That was what I got to say. I started that. I read, we we're going to read one chapter a day and I think it's 13 chapters. So I'm not going to finish yet. But I will give you updates when I have them. Um, I, as I said, all this is glorious. The glorious vibes of a book. So very much recommend that series. Even though I don't understand why it works. Hello. So this morning I have procrastinated. It is 1 p.m. Granted, I have procrastinated longer before. <laughs> because you ever keep procrastinating. But I did just finish my audiobook because I went to the store to buy shit instead of doing my paper. And it was Wicked As You Wish. I think I showed it off in the beginning of this vlog. But this one is inspired by many different, like, I was gonna say public domain stories. <laughs> so we have like Avalon from like Arthurian legends, we have like Snow Queen legend, we have Filipino stuff put in as well as our main character is half Filipino and we have like Alice in Wonderland and other like known things like kind of references for example to Rapunzel and this as well and all of this is mixed up in this story where we have our modern normal world like the United States etc and we have Avalon that was frozen a couple of years ago now by the Snow Queen and I want to take this kingdom back. We have the royal heir prince dude. And we have Tala, a main character who is from this family that is cursed that can kind of, I guess, unravel magic in a way. And then we have the United States that wants to take the magic that was in Avalon and weaponize it and use it for capitalism, etc. So a lot of commentary on like how society is greedy and about like, you know, capitalism and socialism and classism and racism and many different things like for example the royal play prince Alex is gay, a main character is not white etc and now they're going in this first book on this journey to take back the kingdom after all this time there's different battles we meet different creatures we meet different people and you can really tell if you're known with different works of that it's been taken from many different places but mixed in with a twist in a way as well as like mixed in with like the heritage from the author and I found it very interesting and not necessarily I wouldn't say it's done fantastically because it feels a bit chaotic but it works it's interesting it's fun like that is the main thing of the story it's fun I'm not saying that it is the most fantastic book in the whole world but I'm having fun with it I love how diverse the story is like we have many many queer characters etc Rin Shepard Koha has always been good with that and I just love how it is this mix of many weird things but it works it's super chaotic and weird but it works I think I have had a full review of this on my channel when it was released because I had an arc of it I still have it for that matter but now I always I listen to the audio and like I still really enjoyed it i think i gave it like a round it up to four then i'm rounding it up to four now it's a 3.5 it was clearly a lot of details i had missed so i'm glad that i listened to it now and took time to do that now and while again i don't think it's the most amazing book ever but it's fun it's something i could recommend it's just kind of just a funny hilarious time and it's a bit chaotic but I, I like the energy i like it as i said the main thing that i like the most is how it's woven in with like many different elements, especially like Filipino heritage, etc. So I finished that and it was a ride. And now I also started audio book while sitting here. I was gonna fix in my journal and then I couldn't fix what I want to fix because now my charger for my Mac doesn't work, which is really old, but like granted, I don't know what happened to the charger. I think it's my 
be my own fault as per usual. And that's where I print out my cover. So now I need to figure out that. There's always something that breaks. Last time <laughs> I broke my computer. Now I broke my charger for another computer. What is going on here? I don't know. But I was going to fix that while I was procrastinating. So I did start the audiobook for this. It says it has been six months since the last one. And I barely started. And obviously I can talk about the plot for this since... You know, but now we already, I'm like 26 minutes in an audio on double speed. And like, we are with the same characters and we are seeing the aftermath of the first book. And I'm excited to see how certain plot points that obviously weren't to completely finish in the first one is playing out in this one. But at the same time, I feel like I'm not 100% sure where this would go. Since a certain thing that happened in the first one, you think is going to happen much later. But then it happened in the first one, which I did enjoy. So now I'm curious to see like what will happen in the second one. I'm just going to listen to this and give updates maybe when I finish it. I doubt it would be this week because I don't have that much audiobook time. I usually audiobook when I commute. I'm not going to commute that much this week, like two more times probably. But I need to clean a bit and stuff. So then I usually audiobook. So we shall see. That was my update for that. For what I'm reading today, I think today is the day I'm going to read if I can get it out. I want to die, but I want to eat that bookie because I was saying I want to read this for like four different days now, but because it's short and fast and then I can read another book for another vlog that I have borrowed at the library before it expires. I granted, I have five days, but today I think is the one day I'll actually have time unless it's tomorrow. And granted, I don't need to read the whole book of that other book today. I could read half today and half tomorrow. Maybe we shall see what, what happens today. Yeah, uh, I, I will let you know. <laughs> it is very late, like 103 a.m. But I did finish and read. I wanted that, but I want to eat at the bookie. I also read some other stuff, but I can talk about this first. I don't think that this was what I thought it was. It is literally about a main character who is a real person, I assume, talking with the therapist and is like recordings of that. Like she actually took transcripts of it. And I think it's a lot of like direct quotes from that. And then in the end, we have like a string of, I was going to say almost like essay-like string of thought diary entries about different things that I felt like didn't really add anything. And I don't think that the book necessarily was bad. I just felt like it didn't give much. Like the tone was very monotone because it is these transcripts. I felt like I was reading a textbook in a way. And I can go behind that vibe because, for example, Kim ji Young is another book that... I feel like felt a bit textbooky, but that was like kind of humoristic and ironic in a way that I could really get behind it and really enjoy it. And I also read, you know, maybe you should talk to to someone, which was like a therapist kind of book where it like it is between fiction and nonfiction because this is more like a nonfiction memoir, but also a bit like has like reflection upon like how she was back then. So we start off with like the problem she has with herself then we have a conversation if she's surrounded a problem and then kind of a conclusion in a way not necessarily like it's impossible to conclude these things but it's about like self-image and like hatred towards herself and like how she has complicated and complex relationship with people around her and this is of course interesting because humanity is so complex and you feel so many different things and it's interesting to read about and read about other people's experiences and how they got help, etc. But I just think that the title, I Want to Die, But I Want to Eat That Book, it gives the book off like a cozy kind of like a bit humoristic tone at least. And it did not give that at all. I guess that is also maybe just like me assuming things because of the cover, because of how I read other translated works that I surrounding depression and dealing with all these things. That is like the impression I got from it. When reading it, it was very like monotone, a bit like not bad just not at all like a tone that like I would love either ways I just felt like fine about it I didn't think it was amazing I thought that I would really love it I thought it would make me laugh and it didn't I was just like okay this person is depressed and she has really like normal issues that obviously I wish that people didn't struggle with but that she does and then she talks about it and then she has some reflections and the book was over and I was like, okay. So it didn't give off at all what the vibes give from this cover. I did also see it as a sequel. I would read that, but also I would keep this because I do think it's a cute book. But it was just like, it didn't give what I thought it would give at all. I thought it would be more reflections, make me think more. But in generally, didn't work 100% for me, but I would give it like a tree, like a decent, okay tree. 
I also read Mashal because I realized before reading that that I have read three books and I can read a manga. So Mashal, you can almost call it a parody of the series that should not be named. But I didn't really know that when I picked it up. I don't know, would I pick it up either way? I don't know. But it's literally this dude going to magic school. He can't do any magic in this world where everyone does magic. And he goes through all his tests and is trying to become a top student to get this like prestige position but he just uses marshals, uh, marshals, 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 and it's like super, super strong. And it's funny and it's weird. And he actually reminds me a bit of like Mob Psycho 100. While at the same time, I do obviously see the similarities to the series that shall not be named. I of course see that, especially like with a game that I had on the brooms, etc. But I'm just choosing to ignore it and enjoy the story for what it is because it feeds very like a certain kind of genre and like tone of story in manga that I enjoy. I just, now I'm a bit annoyed because of all like the mirrored stuff to that series. I feel like it is its own thing and I'm curious to see how things have developed, except like the two things that was very similar. But I did in the beginning think that it was a very different story and that it became very similar and now I'm hoping we can diverge from it at least. I enjoyed it a lot. It, it is, as I said, like the kind of manga I would enjoy. So I'm hoping that I will keep enjoying it. I also finished, there was a lot of things I suddenly finished, City of Blades, because we had one chapter left after I read that other chapter, and then Johanna said she wanted to just finish it, so we did. And I don't really know what to say about this. I saw all the reviews and everyone gave it like five stars. I thought I would really love it. It is, as I mentioned before, about this city or world where the god has died. And I do think that it did not focus on it at all. It was very like on the silence until it came into play. But the world and the characters, for me, the world was cool, but it was not built in a way that I understood it even like halfway through the book and the characters felt really flat for me where I did not like, care for that much but do still think that the parts of the story was cool and that, that like I wish I enjoyed it more and loved it but oh, I just felt fine by it and I give me these three stars as well I wish I cared more honestly about everything but it starts off with this murder and then these two people start investigating and it strings up this whole thing basically in the city and we are reading the sequel I thought we were starting tomorrow but you wanna wanted a tiny break which is totally fine by me because I am as I said doing four batteries at the same time and doing my exams and reading my own stuff. So like a break in one of them is fine. I will be fine either way. So we're starting the sequel, City of Blades, I think next Friday. So it's not gonna be in this vlog then anymore. So I will mention that in the next vlog. But yeah, I finished that. So I finished three things today and then I did wanna start another book, which did I mention the title earlier? I probably did. I don't even remember anymore at this point. But I do wanna start another book, but that is for that other vlog that I'm doing. One of the other that I'm doing, I'm doing three at the same time. So I will talk about that in that vlog, which hopefully will be up soonish. And um, yeah, that was all the updates for today, I think. I read my pages and my other books. And then, yeah, I can now say that I'm not gonna read I Want to Die, but I want to eat Hattabocchi anymore. I know that's not actually how you pronounce that dish, by the way, I just, life. I'm also very tired, but I'm still gonna try to stay up and read a bit more. So I wanted to show you all the new gum machine I got for my monthly picks in the highest tier of my Patreon, because I had this gum machine here, which I kind of destroyed a bit. <laughs> it's really big, and then like you kind of picked out the notes, like the gums, because it was it was literally gums in it, it was these and this before. And then like you got a note, but like the notes that I had with names on it got stuck in here, and then we got a new gum machine at work. And I didn't necessarily think that that was gonna be better. I just wanted a new one because this one was dying. So we got a new one and it's also pink, but look how much smaller than it is. Look at the size difference. Not that I need a big one, but it's just like, that's incredible. Um, this one is really different because these were just in here and I took them out, but this one has like a screw thing. So we do like this. Oh God, now it's stuck. I, it was just working. And then the note just falls down into this hole. Like, because like, the, 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 the thing turn around and it's much easier. I used to talk about how I needed balls, but I don't think I need balls anymore because this one works so much better. So now I'm happy. And it's also pink. I would have bought purple if you had it, but we don't, we didn't match as my uh, headset. So we have a new gun machine that I will pick out a monthly picks for. And the people in my house turn Patreon get a pick for this where I pick out every month. And um, it's really cool. We are happy. This, this I might not throw away yet. It will be pensioned. And now I'm gonna use the new functional one. I guess I could in theory take the gums in and eat them. But uh, 
they can just lie there in the bag for now. I have other reading updates probably for you later. I just want to show that off because I uh, bought it and hadn't opened it and then I did it now in sprints. So I just thought that I would show you as well. <laughs> okay, so it is like 2 a.m. And I just want to update this before we went to bed because I did finish my paper. <laughs> I honestly thought I wouldn't make it at a point. I wrote like almost... I can't even say it. <laughs> my brain is that I wrote almost 4,000 pages, not pages, words today. Granted, a lot of them were quotes, etc. that I had like, was ready from like the day before that I spent like hours and hours upon yesterday to make ready uh, while I was going through like a thing. So granted, I didn't write it all out today, but I still wrote a lot today to bring it all together in like a final discussion thing. Obviously, I need to like polish it. I need to go through it like one last time to look through it. But still, I'm done. Like, I'm not going to write new, complete stuff in it. At least, like, not a lot. Because it's basically done. And that's all I got. I'm just so happy I had to share it with the class. And I didn't read my book that I was planning to read at all. I just wrote. I did procrastinate a bit earlier in the day. But I'm now been, like, super focused for many, many hours. And um, now I need to go to bed. Because I need to sleep. So I can wake in the morning and be happy that I'm kind of done with the paper and try to do some other stuff in life. But also now I need to write my done my other papers. But that is another discussion for another day. But those needs to be eight pages each. I have four pages on each of them. It's a totally different discussion there. This needed to be 20 pages. And I had zero on those. I need to go to bed, but I want to share with you. And then I only read like in two body reads today, as I said. So no reading updates for today. And then I will probably read um, all the stuff I want to read today, tomorrow. Yay. It is the next morning and I have been all morning doing admin stuff for next semester where I booked all my hotels and I had to talk to customer services and then I had gotten this message that just shipped this manga that I already gotten and I was like, I already gotten this. Why did you ship it again? It turns out I ordered it twice, but I couldn't see it in my orders. Cause like the, that, that book was hidden. You know, when you have too many books in an order, like the rest of the books in the order were hidden. So this one was hidden away and I felt really bad. And I was like, sorry, it was my fault. And then I left. So now I'm getting two of that manga, but I will probably just, I will fix it. So that I don't have two. So that I can get another manga. It's fine. But I have some packages, a really big one and a really small one. Not a really small one, but a smaller one. And this is from Aslo. And Aslo told me that I could open them now. She wanted me to wait until Sunday so she could see it live. But she said I could open them now since I finished my paper last night. And I was like, thank you, Granny. So this is my birthday gifts from her. So I'm just going to open them in this video. And then I will obviously have a haul for like other books I'm getting, etc. So if I don't get them like in this vlog was what I was trying to say. My birthday is in 10 days, but I can open them now. So let's do it. Let's do it. What can it be? This seems like one big book. I'm gonna check. I, I, I'm not even showing you. No, she did not. She did not. I can't even open it. I can't even open it. But I have a feeling what she did when I saw this. I'm sighing. It says, enjoy your gift from Oslo. And this is number two of the deluxe editions of The Girl From The Other Side, which are absolutely stunning and very expensive. Since this is volume two, did Asla get me all of them? <laughs> because the other box is huge. She's not allowed. <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous and I've been wanting them, but I'm like, I can't actually justify getting them. She did not. I need some scissors, I think. Where are they? They have disappeared. This headset is in a way. Where are my scissors? There's actually on my floor in front of me. I got them. I got them. I'm not going to show you top of this box because you all don't need to know where I live. I barely want to know. I'm joking. Let's see if I can do this. If she got some, it's fine. If she got all, it's crazy. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just going to take out these notes. There's actually many gift notes. <sighs> it's just enjoy your gift on all of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. So we have again deluxe edition volume four. And then we have deluxe edition volume one. And then I assume the last one would be deluxe edition volume three, because that makes sense. Indeed. Oh my god. I don't even know how many it is. Is it four? Is that all of them? I don't know. I don't actually know. But oh my god, that's like. 
<laughs> you can't just buy all of them. One would have been enough. <laughs> That's insane. They are gorgeous. Now I kind of need to reread them. Obviously, I have all like the original paperbacks as well. But these are so pretty. You can't skip them. And I just serious. I really enjoyed it as well. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Oh, happy birthday, my wonderful friend. Thank you, Granny. Thank you, Oslo. Oh, uh, okay. Now I need to go and write a message. That's insane. They are even in the wrong order. I will put them in the right order. <sighs> Look at them. Look at them. Look at how pretty they are. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm very grateful, very grateful. I'm actually a bit shocked, to be honest. Okay, at a point, I will read, but now I'm gonna sit here and be in shock instead. Oh my God. Okay, box. Goodbye. <laughs> that was it for this clip. Eventually I will have reading updates again. I swear, it was just very bright, like very intensely bright. It is Sunday morning. Did I talk to you at all yesterday? I believe I did not because life just happened yesterday. I had to help my sister and it was a ride, let me say that. And then I just cooked for like two hours because we made soup curry and then we watched a movie. I didn't read almost anything. I was gonna clean my glasses, but life. I started my next book, which is Of Curses and Kisses by St. Diamond I managed to get to all of 46 pages. So far, I'm quite bored. I don't really care. And it's set at this academy, St. Rosetta Academy, and it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And then we have a main character who's a princess, a one princess in like a region in India, even though officially they don't have a royal family anymore. And their family is rumored to put this curse on this other... They're not royal, but they are from... Was it England? I don't remember. And then like they put a curse on their family because they like wronged them and stole like a diamond thing back when the British Empire had like a thing over them. And like this curse is obviously the beast's curse and he thinks he's the reason that his mom died. And then now our main character, I don't remember her name. Grey is the dude and the girl is Jaya. And she is going to make the dude fall in love with her and then dump him because apparently that family has like wronged her sister or something who was also there at the Academy. And then I don't really know what's going to happen. And I just kind of don't care. I don't feel like I'm really not in the mood for this, but I'm still going to read it. I did the day before read another book or another vlog because like that was expiring. So that's why I didn't update this. So I feel like now I haven't talked to you in two days. I mean, I did tell you yesterday to unbox, not yesterday, but the day before to unbox the girl from the other side that I got from Aslog. So, but I didn't have any reading updates. A lot of my batteries are on hold right now for reasons, except the one in Patreon Discord, which is sort of Kaigan. So I have been reading in that, but only a chapter a day. But I have in theory three other batteries that are currently on hold in a way. I mean, the one that we haven't even started yet, so. Yeah, today is Sunday, so it's the last day for this vlog. And we have manga night. Usually I do manga night for like a different vlog. Like I have a separate vlog for manga night, but I thought that I would just include it in this one this time around since I'm doing weekly vlogs. I feel like this vlog is not even that long. So I was like, well, let's just include it in this one. And I would try that out instead of like doing a separate vlog. Manga night is, if you don't know, a live event on my channel. We're usually with Cecilia and we have had, I was going to say other people as guests. We had one other person as a guest before. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be ambitious to send many other people, but we can have other guests, we just haven't had any. And we just read manga for like all of the sprints instead of you usually, you know, read, I was gonna say normal books, but uh, novels instead, etc. Or people can read manga in other sprints as well, but this is like for us to have an evening where we only read manga, to make progress in our series and discuss manga and talk about manga. And then we do it live on YouTube as sprints. And obviously, other people can join and like do and read whatever they want to but a lot of people come to read manga with us as well which is a really 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 great time so the manga i'm reading today is full metal alchemist this is volume 13 14 and 15 this i you do chapter chapter thoughts review for so i will obviously film that while doing that and i post it as a separate video but then up to you when i'm done with it and then i'm also planning to read 
set and soap done, which was what I bought for my last page of readathon, which was in the end of April, but because of life, I didn't get to finish it. It, it was a level volume manga that I bought to finish in that readathon, and I didn't, so I have nine, ten. This is the wrong way. No, it's not the wrong way. It was like a full photo, so it was so confusing. I thought it was the wrong way. Look at it. Oh! How cute. But yeah, this is like the final. So I feel like I will have time for all of these today, but I do actually take quite a long while to research and solve considering like, yeah, I would talk maybe more about like what they're about when I start them. And then if I get time for more, I obviously have more on my list, but like I want to use the manga night to finish that and soap, even though it's not on my list. For my alchemist, I do follow two brothers and they had this alchemist experiment that went wrong. And then one of them now lives inside his metal body. His soul is inside there. And then the other dude has lost his arm and his leg. And then they work for the like alchemist government stuff at the same time trying to get their own bodies back and there's this whole conspiracy thing going on as well it is super super fun i really really enjoying it so far there's so many cool elements to it and it's getting more complex and cool and i really really enjoy the characters so i'm very excited to continue that that means i'm probably not going to do any progress of, of curses and kisses and i'm pretty sure i was supposed to finish this on friday so i will be like four days behind but I read other stuff and I'm chilling and like I was stressed about my TBR, sorry, wherever that is. And I only have like three, four books left on it, four Asian readers on at least. And then like a lot of them are other ones are audiobooks. And so I need to audiobook more. So I, I spent this morning listening to like and procrastinating as well. One hour and 26 minutes of audiobook because like I feel like I need to listen to the next one, the next one after Unreliable Magic, and then I need to listen to <laughs> Beautiful Country and Book Eaters and for the TBR card, because I changed the book for that one as well. If I'm going to finish all of that before the end of May, I need to <laughs> listen more. I'm trying to also like finish my papers. As we know, I did a lot of progress and basically finished one of them this week, but now I have did two small ones, which I will focus on the next few days. And after that, I will read like crazy. So I feel like everything I'm behind on now, not that I'm even behind because I read a lot. <laughs> like I've read 16 books this month and we're only on the 12th. So I don't know why I'm stressing. Then I can catch up or like whatever I was trying to say. Also, I've been reading books outside this vlog because life. But yeah, I'm going to read my chapter and sort of cry again before this one starts in 50 minutes. So you should see me later for updates. Hello. So I look completely the same as yesterday. Because <laughs> that's like the story of my life. But I did read a couple of manga yesterday and I just didn't update throughout the whole evening. I don't know why. Stuff happened. Life life got to me. But I did read all of these mangas. So I read Full Metal Alchemist, which was great. Good time. I filmed like vlog thingy for it, which is hopefully coming like after this vlog. Hopefully it was a good time. It was sad. Love to see it. No, no actually love being sad, but you know. It's by Nate William 11, which wasn't the plan, but like Cecilia had William 11, so we kind of bothered it. It was a good time. Spy Family is about Master Spy Twilight, who has a fake wife, a fake child, to this operation thingy. And like, it's going so slowly, like the main plot, but we love it because the characters are great. The humor is fantastic. Love the series a lot. This one had a punch. Things happened. It was a fun time. It was a fun time. Then, as I said, did I say I read. Sat and soap done. Almost cried in the end. It was just honestly a perfect thing, a perfect ending, a perfect story with these characters. I gave the last volume five out of five stars because honestly, it deserved it after being able to ride with these characters. It's just the way that we have this couple and you expect certain kind of drama to happen, but then they just do it so maturely. It's fantastic. Five out of five for the last volume where you get super attached and it follows this dude that make smells and stuff for soaps and then he smells this girl and like absolutely falls in love with her smell so he kind of definitely has a smell kink and then they build this super beautiful super consensual beautiful relationship honestly amazing and then the last manga i read was my dress of darling volume nine this follows this dude that makes cosplays with his girl this one was a bit weird this volume and i like at this point i just feel like i don't really care for the story anymore at all i hope it's soon done but like i do finish my stuff but like honestly not my favorite at all anymore. Because this week I put the books I read this week in its own pile so that I wouldn't do a mistake from last week. Because I read All This Piece of Glory, right? I read Wicked As You Wish Done, which was an audio, Finished City of Stairs, 
and I read Marshall and I read I Want to Die But I Want to Eat Tatabaki, which I feel like wasn't even that many books because like the books books I read is just all this research with Gloria and I Want to Die But I Want to Eat Tatabaki. So I read two books a week. I don't know, that was really little. I feel like I read more. What is going on? Now I feel like I need to check this. Is this correct? No, I read another book. I just, it was for another blog, vlog, and it was an ebook. Yeah, I know. So I actually read two more books, but that was for the library and also for another blog. I just really felt it didn't seem correct. Either way, and I read all the manga. Yay, yay, we have a little good pile. So I, as we know, started Hunter in the Hill House. Was that this week? At this point, I don't even know. And then still reading Sword of Kaigen. I am on page 254 today, and I'm obviously gonna read more today, which is like this vlog is over now, so that will be the next vlog. 136 into Hin House. I did start after saying I was gonna start 100 years of curses and kisses, and I came to all of 46 pages, but this is still in progress, and I should finish it today, but I don't know if I bother. And then obviously, I also did start God Killer, but did I start it this week? I can check this actually. I'm confused of what I started. I started it the 5th, which was not this week. And I haven't read on it since the 8th, apparently. We had a lot of days break, but that was the last week. <laughs> so yeah, we are just on page 106. We had a little break. And then obviously the audiobook on Reliable Magic, I got like somewhere into it. But hopefully I will finish it this week as like the next vlog you watch, but yeah. That's that's all the reading I did, plus two more in other vlogs. That's a big pile of things. I will try to do the thumbnail. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this reading vlog. I know that like I wasn't great with updates this week, but I finished that one paper, which was my main goal. You should see me next week for the next vlog for Asian Video Fun. Thank you so much for watching this. Leave a... What was the last thing we read? My Dress Up Darling. Address emoji down below if you enjoyed this. You should see me soon in a new one. Goodbye!